Hello guys, here we're gonna start uh, to open an STM32 F103 and we're gonna open it up from its package and we're gonna solder up its little pins that it comes with. We're gonna plug it into this breadboard and we're gonna compare it against the Arduino Nano that I have here. We have a soldering iron and a little bit of uh, solder. Uh, prefer, try to use one millimeter diameter of solder and um, be lead free so so you try to not inhale that 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 lead uh, from the soldering process um so first of all we're going to start on how hot your soldering iron has to be so first of all here we have soldering iron i'm going to set it up to around 380 375 uh, if you have a better soldering iron with um with a station, you can set it up directly on the, on the digital panel, but normally um, people don't have uh, such fancy equipment, so you only need a simple soldering iron. So this is the tip, this is how it looks. Uh, this is not how it has to look. So first of all, we need to wet the little sponge, wet a little, so I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna put a little bit of water on it. Once it is completely soaked, you can clean the tip. And this is how it's gonna look. Look at this. So this is how we have to treat our soldering irons. So the reason I left it like that, and the reason I made this one on purpose so dirty, is for you to see how we can, how we have to start our soldering process. All right, so remember, 80 degrees, 380 degrees, sorry, Celsius. 380 C Celsius and um, okay so now we're gonna open this STM32 okay I'm gonna take the chip out perfect so here it is here we have it so here we're gonna solder in the the, the boot the boot and programming pins uh, here are the, the, the pins that are going to go to the still link. Okay, here we have ground, clock, digital input, digital output, and 3.3 3, 3 volts. And the I.O., the I.O. pins here. So here we see the crystal of 8 megahertz, the STM32 F103. I don't know if you can see it. Let me see. There you go. Let me, let me tilt it a bit. STM32 F103G. 8T6 Reset button and a couple of LEDs there, okay? So this is the size compared to the Arduino Nano So the way the way I like to do this is first of all I'm gonna set up the pins to the to the board we're gonna put a little bit of pressure on it and there we go we got one in we're gonna put the second one we're gonna measure it where, where it has to go just to go in third row in row C here we're gonna place it there in row C Try not to touch it too much. If you guys have the anti-static strap, that's the way to go. I do recommend to use anti-static straps. Sometimes the Arduino Nanos that you buy from China come like that. You have to solder them. The pins. First step is you have to heat up a little bit the metal, okay? Heat up a little bit the track, heat up a little bit the pin. And then we're gonna put a little bit of solder, okay? So we're gonna put a bit of solder and you're gonna see that it starts gonna start bubbling. You're gonna start bubbling. You're gonna see a bit of bubbles and then you're gonna take it out. And then you're gonna put a little bit more. Just just a tip, tiny bit. Just a little tiny bit. And this is how it has to look that solder. Do you see that it's not balled up? You see that it's like a cone? 
this is how the shoulder has to go okay on every single component so we're gonna do you know this one so it's bubbling a bit so why do we want the bubbles to go through if 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 if, if we if we let those if we let the soldering bubble it means that the solder is going down through the track going down through the track We don't want to leave the soldering iron too long there because the tracks are really, really thin. If we leave it there, we can pop out the tracks out of the of the of the of the PCB. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. And then there you go. It bubbles a bit. Then we put a little bit more, a little bit more, and we take it out. Okay. And that that way we avoid to have a cold attachment which means that 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 it's gonna create bubbles inside and then we are not going to see a good solder there we go the two pins and now, now i'm gonna speed it up a bit okay Take the excess out of out of my tip. bubbles a bit then we let it go put too much in this one remember we have to we go I go here and I clean up my tip take out the solder go back we to heat up the truck a bit first there it goes, it bubbles a bit, and there you go. So I'm right handed, so I twisted it the other way around. So for me it's easier to shoulder it that way. This is a very, very cheap soldering iron. It was like 10 pounds here in England, like, like, like $18. So if you got your solder that is thicker than, than, than one millimeter of diameter, you're gonna struggle. You're gonna struggle with electronics. You want you want your soldering your your your, your, your soldering flux to be to be as thin as possible, and that's gonna give you a really nice control when you are flowing the material through the. through the tracks, through the pads on the PCB. So 
So I do it in two steps. Let the solder go through, flow. Once it flows, there we more. So now we can take it out. Now we can take the board out and we're gonna flip it over. So this is how it looks, look. That's the reason I put it on the PCB, to have this very, very, very nice finished STM32. And this is how the solders look. Do you see how they look like a cone and they don't look like a ball? It's very important. It's very important to have them as a cone and not as a as a as a ball there. So otherwise you you that's not what you want. So now we're gonna go with this one. Sorry, I'm just gonna put it the other way around. This one is a bit tricky because you have to put it the other way around. You cannot you cannot attach it to the to the breadboard. So actually I'm gonna take the breadboard away. Take the breadboard away. So again the same procedure. Hold it a little bit. Once you got one. Once you got one done, it attaches to the to the PCB and now, now we can normally what I do is I go to the other you know, extreme Perfect. There we go. Now we have it there. Ready to be soldered. We clean the tip. Clean the tip. We have the tip. We just warm up a bit tracks. Sorry the light was bothering you guys. There we go. One. The other extreme. See if I can take this 
Excess solder out. There we go. Yeah. I managed to take that. That's it. That's it. We finished the STM32.